My name is The Adipose and welcome to Fallout Shelter. Quick tips. In this quick tip, we're going to be talking about merging rooms, building two of the same, versus upgrading the rooms. Which is better? Which is better to do first? And why? Okay, so very early on. The game gives you little hints like this and talks about murder rooms and more dwellers and all that kind of stuff. And you have a clear choice early on when you have very limited resources. Um, what do you do first? Do you click on one of these rooms, hit the big um, up arrow in the top right hand corner and upgrade it? Or do you build another one next to it and, and merge? You know, which should we do first? Um, the answer, in short, is that you should build one next to it and, and merge it. And there's a few reasons why... Um, that is the case. The first is that it's cheaper. If you look at the um, the upgrade cost there, the upgrade is going to cost you 250 smackaroonies. And if you uh, try and build another one, um, it'll only cost you 125, so it's cheaper. But you might be thinking, well, wait a minute, hang on. Um, there's other costs to this as well. When you build more rooms, you've got more power costs, if it doesn't happen to be a power station, and you need people to go in there as well. Well, yes, that's true. But the maths is actually still in your favour. Um, because what you will notice when we build the extra room here is that the total amount of time required um, for this thing um, to kind of go off is, is still mathematically right. At the moment, this is giving me 10 power. And you'll see here that this room is currently taking, with these two people in it, um, it's going to take three minutes um, for it to function. Now, if we just go straight for it and we um, go for the, the upgrade, and I'll explain why in a second. The upgrade is going to cost me 250. So you'd think if I put another room next to it, it would then cost me 500 um, to upgrade it. But you'll see that that is not actually the case. So if I build that in there, ta-da! You'll notice that um, we're now generating um, 22 power. So not just 10 times 2 it should be 20. It's giving me 22. It's also now it only costs 375 to upgrade the whole room rather than 500. Do you remember before it cost 250? 250 times 2 is 500, but this is 375. So if we were to build a third room again, the upgrade cost would be even less. So firstly, it costs less caps to do it. Secondly, um, you can see we're generating more power overall to so 22 versus 20. And thirdly, the overall time that it has taken for it to generate um, is only roughly times two. I think it's roughly times two plus a little bit. You know, so say for example, if the whole room took one minute to do each time, if you build another one next to it, it might take kind of two minutes, five seconds. Okay, now you might kind of think, well, hang on, that's worse. Well, it's worse and it's better. It takes slightly longer, but actually you don't want to be tapping these rooms all the time. Because if you had um, one room, you need to kind of go tap, tap, tap all the time. You, you can't kind of do other things. You've got to keep coming back to that. So actually having a longer pause between the rooms actually helps you when you're trying to send people out to the wasteland and sort out your inventory and all, and all, all this kind of that. So for a whole bunch of reasons, um, it is going to be better that you um, expand your rooms out to the side um, before you upgrade them. One last reason why you might, what, might want to not upgrade. Um, as you upgrade the room, the hazards that appear in the rooms, especially the rad roaches, get a lot harder to deal with. So right now I've got two guys in there, they've got no weapons, they've only got their fists. If the rad roaches appear, they're going to be able to stomp on them. It's not going to be nice, but they're going to be able to do it. If I upgrade the room, the rad roaches are going to come in a lot more viciously, and they could even kill the whole room. And if you've had a vault disaster, you'll know um, that you, it is possible for your whole vault to get wiped out um, by rad roaches. So uh, my strong advice to you is, my friends, expand out wide before um, you um, upgrade them. Um, for no other reason, it just gives you another place for you to put all your lovely new vault dwellers that hopefully you're breed breeding and stuff. Hope you found that useful. If you've got any comments on it, then do let me know in the comment section below. And if you check out the description, you can see a link to my Fallout 3 roleplay, um, which should um, amuse and excite you. Um, please um, do subscribe and come over. Why don't you come over and join to the Twitch channel and kind of join the fun over there as well. Take care. You have been fantastic. And you know what? So have I. Bye-bye.